Hello everybody, welcome to my, the, my first round of OFL playoffs match, round of 16. Um, how it works is there's four divisions, uh, regional divisions of 12 total teams, and four of those go to the playoffs and have a little for, um, have a little like, you know, four, the four winners play each other, the four qualifiers from each conference play each other. Um, so this is the round of 16. And I am up against the other LFC people, and it is unfortunately Squall, who has got a really good chance of just winning because of his Sprint Sure Feet Movement 10 Edge 5 Leap Gutter Runner. That's obviously an amazing weapon to just get a draw um, or a win. So that's pretty annoying. Um, there are <laughs> financial fair play rules in... <laughs> in... Um, in... OFL, so this is the second chance at this game. Um, so he's got a wizard, big rat, and a babe. He tried to get two babes, but that's not allowed. <laughs> so uh, this is our second chance at uh, at the match. Um, so then, yeah, now it's now it's going to work. <laughs> I don't think they're a good <laughs> No, I don't think the yeah, wizard would help with a one turn attempt, would it? Unless you wanted to. <laughs> Be a bit crazy. Yeah, so he's, he's kicking. This is going to be tricky, though. This is going to be tricky. He does really only have one mighty blow, the one mighty blow on claw. We've got a pommer. He has not put his one turn on the bench. <laughs> so, that's something, isn't it? That's all. Put him back there. Big Rat is uh, six six three eight. In fact, <laughs> he is really good. To be fair, he's really good. This is like basically the worst guy on the team, right? So he might as well carry. Because he's got strip and a wizard, so. Yeah, big rat is a big rat, and he's good. Quick snap, not a, not a, uh, not a blitz. Like that. <laughs> Le plim plom plu. Glorious. Sécurité. 
Et ça leur coupe l'eau, mais de Instant pylon. Don't mind if I do. Fucking nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. It would be way too powerful, yeah, being able to re-roll chances to get a blitz, that would be really, that would be pretty super powerful, I think. Yeah, everyone would get it, yeah. <laughs> it would stop you getting blitzed on. <laughs> and, and make you get more blitzes, that would be super, super powerful, yeah. Yeah, it would be super powerful. I guess he's gonna foul him. Yeah. Maybe they should have put someone up to protect him. Fuck me. Why are people so fucking lucky against me? Honestly. <laughs> nearly put him there to protect him but you know without the wizard and everything why would you even foul with 12 men to assist no dirty player <laughs> fucking terrible foul <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, he's a bit shit. <laughs> Honestly, that's not even, that is not even that bad. Ridiculously. I don't know what it says about how good my team is. But that guy wasn't even good. Three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Want it to hit the gutter. This is all going fucking terribly now, isn't it?
Hmm. <sighs> Fucking hell. I mean, it's already pretty ugly. But yeah, it's not even that bad. The funny thing is, it's not even that bad. Because he's a, he's a free agent, so I can re replace him easily. And he was built shitly, wasn't he, with having a, <laughs> not having tackled, so... So crazily, he's not even that, he's not even that big a loss. There's a strength up uh, Dark Elf Blitzer on the market as well. Which would be a nice guy to have. You can't rebuy really him, but you can just buy... The fact that he's a free agent means that I can buy him... I can buy a different free agent. Hello, geeks. I can buy a different free agent who's also good. Yeah, apparently, if someone just fouls, they kill my guys. <laughs> At least this is a fucking multi-assist one. Just a rando two assist instantly fucked. Joke of a foul. Et tu vas pour être sur démoniaque. Quel est le problème, Bob? Bah une mouche de Nurgle dans mon café. L'arbitre regarde d'ailleurs. C'est le moment à lui. Fucking big rat's a pain in the ass, isn't he? I really wanted to uh, just remove him. <laughs> Is all I wanted to do, to be honest. Oh, fuck off, man. <laughs> God, I wish someone was fucking commentating. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> I wish I'd taken this as seriously as the Rebel game. Because now I'm just fucking pissed off having to, like, you know, feeling like I've got to fucking talk all the fucking way through. It does make it so much harder. So much fucking harder. Squall as well now. I just want to. <laughs> it's everybody kills one, double pounds, removes. Are we already in game? Yeah, I'm fucked. Thanks, Full Force. I've already lost. I think it's. I think I've already lost by now. But thank you very much, Full Force. What? What time are we on? I can now check out. 
difficult, I will entertain your stream for you. Let me have a quick look. Right, let's load up this game. Bear with me. Big ham. Big ham, exactly. Right, I've got your chat open now. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Glory. It's it's a Are joke. It's a joke. First turn, he did a two assist, no DP foul, killed right. my best player, no uh, Apple fail. Then he's hit a fucking fa four out of five fireball. Four out of five? One, two, three, four. Four out of five, killed one. And then uh, remove the carrier as well. <laughs> it doesn't look like you're having a good game, does it? No, oh, five out of five. Brilliant. Jesus Christ. Right, chat. Hello. We'll have a we'll have a look. Have a look how fucked Jimmy is getting diced here. Let's load into the game. It doesn't sound good from what he's described. Let's have a quick look. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's got two players dead already. And you... <laughs> right, he's jump up. Right, his Blitz Palmer is dead. He's got no Apo left. Oh, fucking hell. And he's got another injury onto the... Uh, another injury onto the War, World, War Elf there. That's really not good. Luckily, it's only a badly hurt, so it's not going to... Uh, not going to cause anything too bad, but that's a, it's a nasty, nasty roll. The apple is used to strategically kill a player. I see. I see. He goes and he gets a hit on the gutter runner. See what happens off the back of that. He gets the KO off of it, which is all right. It's not too bad. But, uh, doesn't look good for him. He gets to pick up on the ball as well on a Roto Spaff. Thing is he's just going to run it down. He's just going to hold it there in the middle. See what happens. He's got marked up by a couple of uh, couple of line rats, doesn't he? So see what happens. I mean, I think the best play here, and I'm not. I'm not a good blood bowl player. By the way, I just want to preface this. I'm a shit blood bowl player, but I like commentating. I think the best play for him here is to uh, try and stall it for as long as possible and run away and not get the rest of his goddamn players killed. Because I assume he's got at least a couple more matches in this uh, in this league. Double skull for the rats to begin with. It's not too bad. Waste of reroll. Got two left on their side. They drop the ball into actually what is a favourable position. I think the uh, line rat can just pick it up and run away at this point, can't he? Not much old Jimmy here can do. Best play here is indeed to switch sides, yes. But unfortunately, as we know, that's, uh, that's not an option. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I mean, the rat player can just leave it there for a turn or two, get a better. Okay, do you mean if I was him? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Volvos, I've got to interrupt you. I shouldn't have been looking at chat. <laughs> I shouldn't have been looking at chat. <laughs> what, you, what, you, what are you laughing but I, at? I was looking at chat, and all I can say is, Broccoli! <laughs> <laughs> broccoli! <laughs> is, is that your safe word, yeah? One yeah. A bit too much for you. You just broccoli out of there. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, I mean, looking at it, I think his, his lineman drink should have just uh, should have just grabbed it and started started running back. I don't know why he's left it on the side in that position. Maybe he just doesn't want to fail it and get a uh, get a throw off of it. But he's got a couple of hits, I believe, which isn't too bad. Guess he's got a runner into uh, scoring range. Is he going to try and dodge away and pick up? I don't know what he's going to try and do with that, but we'll see what he does. That's a nasty looking gutter runner. Not as bad as moving ten one. Movement 10 on a natural one turner? It looks like it is. 
with sprint yeah it's a natural one turn which seems a little bit disgusting but hey there's, there's no bm yet i fuck there'll be a little bm soon goes in for the blitz with the roger i think he doesn't get it because he's got a dodge no tackle on it so that's always nice what the hell jim he's got a uh a move nine blitzer that's uh pretty disgusting to be brutally honest Gets a second hit off in it. Doesn't get the power. Should be moving it back into ball range. I think this does leave him open for a uh, for a surf here. Oh, they sidestep. He can't surf. Ignore me. Yeah. Question is, does his opponent realize that? Pushes it into the ball. See what the scatter is. Ah, scatters back into the rats. No, uh, I think I think Jimmy is a little bit. There's no polite way of saying it. Fucks on this drive, unfortunately. Yeah, that was it was literally a perfect scatter there, Radvark. There was literally nothing he could do, which is a shame. I mean, if it had scattered literally any other way, it might not have been too bad. Yeah, getting the recovery off it is screwed, but he doesn't need to get the recovery for at least a couple of turns. I mean, he's got what Jimmy's got. His player's locked up with the rats at the moment. You know, he can try and get a couple hits off. But in theory, all he needs to do is just screen it off here. And it makes recovery for, for Jimmy quite difficult. Is he going to go in for the 50% pickup? I don't know if that's what I would do. But hey. Nah, he just dodges it out. And goes for a couple of one dice. But yeah, it's, it's, a, recover like, it's a recovery nightmare, essentially, for Jimmy here. The ball is completely surrounded. All he can do is attempt to stall it. I mean, what I do is I try and dodge a couple of players away. And uh... yeah, it is a free scatter. It is a free scatter. But apart from that, I just try and screen off and try and stop the rat player for as long as possible. But the problem with rats is you can't really stop them. It's nice that he got the KO on the one turner. Yeah, we'll see what he does. He gets the scatter. He fails the pick up on the scatter. Then thing he's going to re-roll it. It goes straight to the rats, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the likelihood is that was going to happen. Or at least something of that nature was going to happen. What? Yeah. Out of the eight possibilities, it was a 50% chance it was going to go to a rat. It's just a shame that it bounced off of him. Not much Jimmy can do here, unfortunately. I think uh, I think we can consign this drive. I think it's his drive. Yeah, he's going first. It's his drive as well. Gets another KO on the uh, on a lino. Don't know if the rat's got a bench. We'll have a look. Yeah, the rat's got a loner bench, so it should be fine. No casualties yet for Jimmy. I mean, he's taken three casualties. But it doesn't look good. Doesn't look good at all. But he does have the ball. So what? Against rats, what? You uh, you can't really screen. You've got a cage, right? So he leaves the ball there for a little bit. Goes through a few hits. And hopefully next time, if the ball doesn't get whacked out of his hands, we can, uh, we can run down the pitch and cage it off. Looks like an alright, uh... Looks like an alright solution, doesn't it? Goes to the wrestle then. Let's see what the rats can do to uh, counter this. I think no matter what he does, the rats have got at least a 1D, probably a 2D. He's got no guard. Yeah, there is a 2D. I'm trying to figure out how there's a 2D. Yeah, no, there is a 2D. He has to move the red in from the back and he just gets straight up 2D. He opts for the 1D instead. He gets the uh, gets the power regardless. Which is a little bit annoying. Let's see what Jimmy sidesteps to. Yeah, I, I would have gone for the 2D. But, uh, yeah. Fails to pick up on the scatter. Bounces back down. 
into a somewhat neutral position. Still good. I think he can pick it up with the gutter around here and possibly get away because he's got a hit onto the uh, he's got a hit onto the plus edge line, a roto spaff. Yeah, all he has to do, Squirrel Dude, is just move one uh, one guy into position. Then he gets the he gets the two D there, I believe. Moves the gutter run into a scoring range. Yeah, exactly, Ardvark, exactly. We will see what happens with the recovery here. I assume he's going to uh, move him for an assist, get a head off of Moto Spaff. We're going to pick it up with Gutter and run away. This is obviously not what Jimmy wants, but unfortunately it's what Jimmy gets being... Uh, is what three or two best players down and uh and a lino who's about to level which is a shame um yeah oh, he doesn't even go for the uh doesn't even go for the hit on roto spaff he just goes straight for the pickup gets the pickup has to use a reroll for it though i'm assuming he's gonna uh dodge away here yeah he does gonna go for the throw See if he gets it. It was a few unnecessary dodges, yep. He fails it, it gets kicked back, goes off to the side. We'll see where it goes from here. Goes back just to the edge of the pack. Actually, this gives Jimmy a uh, this gives Jimmy a good opportunity here to try and pick up, to be honest. Elves are indeed back in business. He double skulls, that's not good. Gets the third skull, <laughs> unfortunately, gets a gym pow at the end. Which is uh, not great, but it's lucky it wasn't another skull. See what happens to Jimmy here. He's going to go for the dodge away and try and screen it off. He's got no reroll this turn, so he pretty wants to try and make as minimal amount of dodges as possible. See what happens. Yeah, punting it here is an option. I reckon picking up the Witch Elf is a good option, though, as he does that. Picks it up, he's going to go off for the throw. He goes to the throw, he gets it right. The ball is somewhat safe for now. He's got a couple of uh, sack threats in range. One of which being that Storm Vern, which has to make a dodge to do so. And he's got a couple of linos. It's actually looking really good for Jimmy now. Another, uh, another god scatter, basically. To a certain extent. But hey. Just got to capitalize on those, uh, those good RNG moments, right? Yeah, exactly. So I mean, he's got to make a couple of dodges here to try and get away. He fails to get away on that. Get a turnover. But actually, the ball is in a relatively safe position. It can get one deed here, I believe. But uh, it's relatively safe compared to what it was before. Exactly. Exactly. He just pulled an Artemis. Is it a 2D? It's not a straight up. Oh no, it is a straight up 2D because because uh, he failed the dodge, didn't he? I assume he didn't fail the dodge, but he uh, he did. So it's yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got a strength through gutter runner as well. I forgot that the strength through gutter was in range, but he can do it with the two linos regardless. He's got two linos there that can do it. He gets off the hip. It's a stun as well. Luckily, it was only a uh, it's only a wrestle. The cutter can always get there, man. Yeah, that's the other problem. Let's see what happens here. I mean, it's kind of a pain as well that uh, that he's got the ball on his blitzer because that's not who he wants the ball to be on because he wants to be hitting with him, but uh, it's better than nothing. Yeah, surf option's always good here, but I don't think a surf here is, uh, is a good one. Uh, the Roker is a star player because it's uh, been induced. It's Big Rat. You've got two legends here. you got Big Rat and Big Han in the same channel. Gets the sidestep. He gets the pow. No removal off of it, but the scatter's there. And I believe that means the Gusta Runner is in recovery range. It is, but he's got to do a GFI. He was going to do two GFIs to do it because the War Dancer is in the way. Or he has to cut the corner. Yeah. What did look for a, for an amazing recovery there is no longer looking as enticing, unfortunately. But hey. 
And unfortunately, I don't think that there is a surf opportunity for the rats. No, there's not because uh, because you've got Volvers, you're always dropped there. No surf opportunity. And it wouldn't make a difference anyway because the Blitz has got sidestep. Oh, he does have a tiny rat on his shoulders, doesn't he? Oh, the more you know. I didn't even know that was part of the model. He's going to go for it. He fails the GFI. He's going to go for a reroll here, assuredly. Goes for the reroll. And he gets a pick up off of it. Still in a sackable position here by Jimmy. It is against strength three, so he needs to try and move somebody in. He's got the guard piece in place. So all he's got to do is get the blitz up and instant 2D with the witch. Exactly. It's not looking too shabby for Jimmy here, actually, on the recovery. But it's it's what he has after that to pick up the ball. You know, he can possibly get it down, but it's whether or not he can pick it up afterwards. Is the MV9 in range? The MV9 is in range, yeah. He just got pushed up, which is always a good thing for Jimmy there. Don't know if I would have taken that. Uh... Yeah, he can. I don't know if I would have would have taken that, to be honest. That, uh, that power against the move 9, because you're basically just pushing him out if you don't hit him down. Especially when you failed the reroll for the GFI. Obviously, we're going to get some players marking him up. Yeah, it's always an option. Always an option, Squirrel, dude. We see what happens here. I'm assuming the first thing he's going to do is get up his uh, get up his guard piece. Let's see, he can get the instant two D pow if he uh, gets a dodge out, which assumedly he's going to do here. Let's see what he gets on the uh, dodge. Is he going to waste the six on the dodge? Come on, waste the six on the dodge, Jimmy. You know you want to. He wastes power on the dodge, and off the hit, he does get a he does get a down. Luckily, he has tackle. He gets a stun as well, which is always nice. Especially when he goes run, and he picks up the ball. Instant dicing, Jeff. Instant dicing. Is he going to run away here? Yeah, assumedly he just is. I mean the. Uh... All all he's got in range is an, he's basically got an edge two lineman to run away here. This is the problem. He can get a uh, 1D with his with his player drink, but that's about it. I think he can move with a couple of G. Yeah, he can move in with a few GFIs off Died and uh, and Dillian, but that is a, that is a nice stall, to be honest. We'll see what happens because at the end of the day, Jimmy's got dodge on his player. Worst comes to worst if he uh, if he doesn't actually get hit down. So I don't think the rat has any tackling range apart from the drool player, which is unfortunately Edge two. Move 9 gets stunned. Not what you want. Yeah, getting close to the perfect stall. Ball changing hand every turn. But we'll see what happens. I mean, the options is he tries to either dodge away with the edge 2. Um, which I don't know if is a, is a great option here. I think he's got a... I mean, I think he's pretty much got to dodge away with the edge 2. Or he's got to just 2D straight up with the... Uh, with the line rats, which means he's got to get a six. Maybe a better option, in fact, to uh, to blitz Jimmy's blitzer there and then move the line rat into position from above. That's what I'd do here. But no, he's just going to go straight up for the blitz. Doesn't get the power on it because he's got a dodge. Puts Jimmy into a, not a great favorable tackle zone position, but it's still just one dodge away. Yeah, exactly. Jimmy in scoring position here. Yeah, I don't think I would have followed that. I think I would have stayed and then uh, I would have screened him off. I don't think it was a good follow at all. He probably did it without thinking, to be brutally honest. We'll see what happens, though. Got big rat moving in. But yeah, Jimmy got a significant amount of players on the floor. I think, to be honest, looking at the position he's in... I think he's just got to go away for that dodge and score. I mean, he's got one reroll to do it. It's his last turn. He's going to go for it. I don't think there's any other any other situation that he wants to to push here. He can go for hits, but potentially lose his last reroll. I think dodging away is the correct uh, 
It's the correct plan here. Oh, he doesn't even need the reroll for the dodge. You're completely right. Completely right. Apologies. Yeah. No, you can't go for the two hits. Completely. We'll see what happens. Gets the dodge away. Does a little TD dance. <coughs> nice touchdown there for Jimmy off the back of what seemed to be uh, to be a series of impossible events. Yeah, he, he does really need removals here. There's no way of getting around that. I mean, unfortunately, Jimmy's player still stays down. The one turner woke up, which is not good at all. So we'll see what happens. The Rat have a one turn attempt. All he has to do is whack it onto the side and he gets it. But yeah, just line up as much tackle at the back as possible. Let me have a look for you, Travel Scrabble, if you have sure feet. Doesn't look like he does. He's got sprint. No, it doesn't look like he does. He, I think because he has the uh, the edge up. Yeah, because he has the edge up, it looks like he opted to take the leap instead of the... Uh, yeah. Instead of the sure feet is what he looked like as his last skill. He took the leap on it. Exactly. I mean, assuming the skills are in sequential order, then he probably took the movement allowance fast. Sorry, last, and then took his uh, his last level as as leap. It looks like. I don't know if the skills are in sequential order though. Yeah, exactly, Bezio. If the skills are in order, then for some reason he took uh, he took. Sure feet before he even had a uh, movement. The uh, skill are not necessarily in order. Are they not? So... BZL is saying they are. I don't know if I trust him there, but <laughs> yeah. I was I was going to say it doesn't make sense to take uh, to take sprint before you have movement allowance. You know. Um, the reason they're not is in OFL is free agents, so they have to remake the free agents. Um. So they so they've rolled for them. So that you know they 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 do they do loads of admin wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, there you go, there you go. As BZL uh, says, they've been, they've they, they've they they just roll for a uh, ad job, and it's probably easiest to just roll for the ad job and move on the first level, isn't it? <laughs> nice. So, so do you catch? He catched on the roger for fuck's sake. <laughs> Well, that's uh, that's that's him not getting a one-turn attempt. I think I'm due some luck after fucking three cars and fucking outbash to fuck against a team with nothing. Uh, you are, you are, but you also did get a couple of god scatters. You also got a couple of really shit scatters as well. <laughs> yeah, and a million, a million <laughs> yeah. double ones. It always seems like oh. I'm commentating that you get some of the worst scatters possible and some of the best scatters at the same. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut oh. off and turn off. That's a good idea, BZL. Turn off chat. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off my other monitor and uh, concentrate. Goodbye. Wow, Jimmy concentrating. Don't know if I've ever seen it, but there we go. But yeah, I think that's a godsend for Jimmy. To be honest, having the uh, <laughs> having Big Rat catch the ball there, uh, an absolute godsend. We'll see what happens, though. I assume he's going to try and attempt to at least go for the handoff with the rat. I mean, at the end of the day, Big Rat's got edge three. You wouldn't think it, but he does have edge three. So actually, going for the uh, handoff isn't the worst idea in the world. It's certainly not a good one, but it's not it's not the worst. Um, we'll see what he decides to do. Got to free up his player first, obviously. Oh, handoff's not even edgy, is it? Sorry, apologies. You're completely right, chat. You are completely right. 
ignore me. Gets the power as well. Honestly, this is a fucking such an annoying game to lose. Well, how do you how on earth do you not make that three dice? That's just that disgustingly that bad. Disgustingly poor play from him. <laughs> oh, oh! It's not what I would have done, Jimmy. Not what I would have done. See what happens here. Gets the hand off. Oh, thank you, Joe. Thank you, dickhead. Love you too. Oh, yeah, one at a time. You might not go for the touchdown, wanker. Wow. And he gets it, unfortunately. Oh, well, it is what it is. Get fucked, you little cunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Aardvark. I'm surprised it's not worse stuff than what it is. I mean, one down on your drive is obviously not good whatsoever. But, um, yeah. It, it could be it could be a lot worse at this point. A lot worse. He's not even one down, it's one one, so we'll see what happens. Jim could get lucky here with the uh lucky with the kick. Could get a blitz, we'll see what happens. As he get his uh his bench back up. Hello Calcium, how are you doing, buddy? Unfortunately neither of Jim's two KOs come back, so he's significantly down players. Yeah, exactly, BZL. Yeah. Broccoli! <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love a bit of chicken, broccoli, and rice? Yeah, it's going to go off for the set-off here. But, uh, yeah, it, it it doesn't look good, Jimmy. Yeah. I mean, he's he's significantly uh, down of players, isn't he? So, it doesn't look good. He's got his two best players killed. I'm surprised Jimmy hasn't yeeted out of this game so far. So, so I think that's the hip, hip lingo that the kids use. Yeet. But, uh, yeah... Jim going for a quick cheeky tea in a way. Exactly, Calcium, exactly. Calcium, what are you doing? You wanna uh, you wanna get in here and co cast? Got half a half a game left. Turn nine to sixteen. A wank and a pancake. Hey, yes, please. Right, let's have a look. He gets the kick. Both players lose a turn. I don't know if that's in Jimmy's favour. I'm assuming that's in Jimmy's favour. Ah, no worries, Calcium. He gets a really good kick. Yeah. Exactly. Really good kick. I don't know if the uh, the turn loss is in his favour. I assume it is because the rats are there to uh, to score. But uh, that's actually a really good, really good kick. See so, how well the rats can defend it. I mean, the problem is that all he needs to do is just move the gutter runner in to pick it up and then run it away. So... Whilst it's uh, an amazingly good kick against this team, not great. Instant full removal with the KO off the first hit. Not even claw, I don't think. No, not even claw. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, exactly, Ardvark. Makes sense. See what happens. Gonna move it in for the hip. It doesn't get the hit off, luckily. He's gonna go for a hit with Big Rat. Oh. I mean, actually, Big Rat's got prehensile tail. I think it may be best just to go for the hit with the uh, the Lino here. Forgo the Mighty Blow hit. And just move Big Rat in to uh, to guard the ball. There's no need actually because he's just picked up with the uh, the natural one tone and gutter runner. 
whom I'm going to assume he's going to keep there in that position so he can just naturally score next turn or when he needs to. I don't think he instantly goes for it, but uh, yeah, not looking great. So we'll see what he does. Personally, I'd go for the hit with the Lino here onto his uh, onto Jimmy's Lino and then move my uh, big rat into position because of the prehensile tail. See what happens. No, he goes to the hit with big rat. Gets the hit off. Nothing off the back of it. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I don't know if it is if it is Titus. I don't know if it's elimination or not. Um, I'm not a part of OFL. If anybody has a uh, any insight onto that, BZL thinks it should be. I usually trust BZL with his opinion, so uh, so we'll keep it as yes. He hasn't blitzed either, has he? But he, he didn't need to blitz. That's the thing. Didn't need to blitz. <laughs> What's EAB's opinion? I don't know. What is EAB's opinion? Exactly. Exactly. As he does. Right, let's see. Jimmy gets the hit down on that rat. Leaves him open with the position. Not too much Jimmy can do here. Am I oiled up at the moment? Uh, I can't comment on that. But if you uh, if you drop me a, drop me a stinky quick uh, DM in Discord, I might be able to send you a picture. Wink, wink. Right, he goes for the dodge. Fails to dodge. He decides not to uh, not to go out of it. That's fine. Not much Jimmy can do here apart from try to uh, screen off and wait. Yeah, Ardvark. I don't know if I go for it though, because it gives Jimmy the chance to attack. But uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, the injury on the one turner is indeed a uh, a niggling injury. But yeah, all all the rat has to do here, to be honest, is just move the ball over, move it back and forth for a few turns until Jimmy makes a mistake. Well, not of his own volition, but of dice, and then um, yeah, and then just goes in for the one turn. Essentially, he can score it from the two mark on his field. Pretty nasty, to be honest. Just catching it up as best he can here. Has he used the blitz this turn? He hasn't used the blitz, so we'll see what he does with the blitz. Might blitz him with uh, with a big rat, but I'm assuming he wants to keep big rat on the ball with the prehensile tail. No, he blitzes him with big rat. He goes on for the hit. See what happens. Gets the sidestep, but gets the power. What have we got? No injury, luckily. Does he move the big rat into Mark? No, I think he moves it into the assist on the left. Or he just leaves him there. I don't know. Let me see what he decides to do. Yeah, I would have marked the elves on the right, but it, it looks like he wants to get the extra hit off, see if he can cause more attrition on uh, on Volva Drill there. His guard blitzer. But I'm assuming, he's, to be fair, he's got this pretty well screened off anyway, and he can move his last rat into position to, to screen it off even more. I think it was an all right play. I wouldn't send the ball back to the back line here, Seabrolls, because he's got a natural one turner, doesn't he? To a certain extent, Ardvark, yeah. I don't I don't think the rats are playing too well, but uh there's I don't think it's much you can do here. I think he wants to try and go for that score to try and get a uh a turn up. But I think he's probably gonna do it around he's gonna try and do it around the thirteen, fourteen mark. I mean, it's how this this is how I play rats, but you know, I'm I'm not a good player. Oh, he gets the stun. Gets the stun off the back of it. 
Gets a power on both. Exactly. That's the best way of doing it, Aardvark. You get the ball and you run it down the field. Yeah, ex exactly, Titus. So he's going to go in for the uh, go for the blitz on the liner, open up a position to go down should he want to. Gets the power. It's with claw as well. No mighty blow though. So see, he doesn't break armor, so claw's useless here. Exactly, BCL. To be honest, I think that uh, he's going to be able to stall it regardless. He's got the ball pretty well caged up and screened off anyway, so he can just sit here for as long as he wants, can't he? Move a couple of rats down to try and cause more attrition with the claw and the mighty blow. And he can just keep removing Jimmy's pieces. I think Jimmy has to try and find a way in, but he uh, he can't do because he's got a screen off. So it's not looking favourable. It does feel quite aggressive. Exactly, Squirrel. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, Jimmy's not in a great position here. This is the problem. I think that the rats are just going to try and capitalize on it as much as possible. Is there a 2D on the ball with our G5? There must be. Assumedly Roto's back and just jump in there. Shame he doesn't have leap, but there you go. See what happens. I think, yeah, I think he, he's got to go for the dive here, doesn't he? Because otherwise, the problem is that Jimmy's just going to get stalled out for as humanly long as possible. Um, yeah, and it just doesn't look great. He goes for the 50%. Gets the dodge. Doesn't get the power. Goes for the reroll. Oh, he doesn't have tackle. That's the problem. It was a 1 in 6 chance. Actually, no, it wasn't a 1 in 6. It was a 2 in 6. He could have got them both down and gone for the wrestle. Bit of a shame there, but it was a nice play. Can't complain at that one bit. We'll see what happens off the back of that. I mean, he does get a free mark onto the rat as well. Gets away from Prehensile Tail. Fails the GFI, though. So the turn does go over. Doesn't get the free mark on the gutter runner. He could have moved his, uh, could have moved his wrestle around the side. Put it in two tackle zones. May have ended in a surf, but I think getting the tackle there would be a good play. Yeah, Jim's GFIs aren't, aren't great here. So it's sixty percent sack. Oh, there you go. This happens. Gets the tackle hit off on Roto Spaff. No stun, which is always good. Two hits down. It wouldn't surprise me if the rat player just goes for a goes for a touchdown here. I mean, he's got time to stall. That's the thing. All Jimmy's players are on the floor, so he uh, he could move away to the very edge. But yeah, doesn't doesn't look particularly good, does it? Big rat in with the prehensile tail. Exactly, BCL. Exactly. It is difficult. 
I mean, it's hard to prevent it on both sides. I mean, he's got a he's got an edge five one turner. Jim's got an edge five. Yeah. The Venger bus cage. I can't say I've heard of that one, Squirrel Dude. But uh, but hey. I'm going to assume that's an official term, because it's coming out of your mouth. But hey. He's going to go in for the foul. Actually, not the worst of plays. Especially doing it with, uh, with a lino. Fashion men today, see? Yeah, and he's, he's just got Jimmy's tackle witch elf down. I think that's, uh, that's not looking great for Jimmy here. Off the back of that. Don't think there's much he can do. I think he just has to, uh, he has to try and force it to be scored as fast as possible. It's an official technical term. Thank you, BCL. Jim failing the dodge away at 33%. Fells it again with a reroll. And uh, I think Jim's going in for a cheeky GG. Well rolled. Jim can't be happy right now. You might hear him come back and voice in a second and start uh, start screaming for a little bit, but yeah, doesn't look good at this point. I mean, all he can hope is to get the uh, is to get the one turn off the back of this. That's all Jimmy can do. Yeah, the old well rolled. Yeah, I think I think the one turn is all Jimmy can hope for to equalise it here. I mean, maybe the rats will do something stupid like scoring early, giving Jimmy a two turn. But to be honest, I, I doubt it. I think all the rats gonna do here is wait a couple of turns. Jimmy stays on the floor and uh, yeah, hopefully goes to the one turn, leaves his guys there, and hopefully doesn't get him killed to the uh, killed to the fouling, so he can perform the one turn. Yeah, just proving RNG is broken. Exactly, J5. But I mean, you're putting yourself through this anyway, aren't you? You're playing Blood Bowl. You deserve to uh, you deserve to have a bit of pain every now and again. Blood Bowl is not a game for the faint-hearted, is it? I mean, at the end of the day as well, two deaths on Jimmy's side. It is Blood Bowl, not slightly bruised bowl. Exactly, Mirepa, exactly. Depression Bowl uh, is the best way to describe Blood Bowl sometimes. Goes in for the foul. So KO, he's gonna need that uh he's gonna need that back. But we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, none of Jimmy's KOs have gone up this entire game, I don't believe. Which is uh not nice, to say the least. See what happens onto the blitzer. Blitz is fine. Yeah, I assume he's just gotta go. He's he's essentially just gotta go for the move nine one turn. Yeah, 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 calcium. I mean, if I were the rat player here, I'd be trying to to foul that move nine blitzer every single turn to try and get him off the pitch. Is what I'd be doing. Just try and stop the one turn attempt. Make it a little bit harder for Jimmy. Sidestep move nine. Your basketball coach used to say you're just pissing against the wind when you fucked up. <laughs> right. That's, that's an interesting saying. It's true, though. Not that I can say I've ever tried it. I mean, I've tried pissing on an electric fence, but that's about as far as it goes. Right, yeah. Jim just going to move up the, uh, move up his good players and just run away. There you go, BCL. So, uh, 
so Benny Bob's RNG is random number generating. Whenever you make a roll, in theory, it generates a random number, and then you get the decided outcome off of that. So let's say you have to dodge away on what's known as a 2+, plus, right? So you have a 1 in 6 chance. You roll a d6. RNG, random number generating, decides what you get, essentially. So if you were to roll a 1, it would be considered bad RNG because it's a 1 in 6. Um, you usually find a few salty people who... Uh, who decide to blame everything on RNG and not skill, but unfortunately, Blood Bowl is a uh, Blood Bowl is a game of not only skill but uh, but also RNG. So, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Going in hard to treble scrabble. Right, we'll see what happens. I mean, I think this game is basically over until the last turn. We'll see if Jimmy gets the draw off of it. There's really too not too much left on uh, on commentary, to be honest. Exactly, BZL. Exactly. Always RNG, never your own error. Is the way a few people, a uh, few people look at it. Those those players shall not be named, but you can see a couple of them in chat. Right. Yeah, I, w I wouldn't go for the hits here with Jimmy because I think he needs to keep that. Uh, he needs to keep that one D. Just runs him away, as you do. <laughs> exactly, hard fuck. Right, let's have a look. Rat's going to go straight for the score, as he does. Let's see how Jimmy steps up for the uh, the one turn here. He gets one player back up, not what he wants. I think you can still perform the one turn, Jimmy. Calm down. I assume so. Jimmy, as you can hear in the background, slowly losing the will to live. Yeah, it, sh it still should be doable. It just doesn't make it easier. Never makes it easier. Rat's going to set up. See what Jimmy can do. Yeah. That, that is unfortunately a problem, BCL, but you're playing a game inherently based off of dice. It's never going to be 100% skill. But um, now you are, you are right. I'd say the best coaches are probably going to be pro. I, I don't know. I think they're usually around the 65% win rate. Is what they're usually at, hard fuck. I, don't, I think it'd be quite difficult to get up to 75%. Is it close to 80%, BCL? I mean, it also depends on what kind of leagues you play as well, assumedly. If you're playing CCL, assumedly it'd be easier at certain points. Right, let's see what Jimmy does with the setup. Ah, uh, Chris was at 72. Yeah, I, I would have thought 60 to 65 would be around the right area, to be honest. Inarian's at 73, but Inarian plays nothing but Wood Elves. And he, uh, as much as I love Inarian, Inarian's a lovely guy. He uh, does get put up against some bad players the majority of the time, which does help it a little bit. Yeah, exactly, I'd fuck.
Yeah. And so you become a bad player, BCL. Right, let's see what happens if Jimmy gets the one turn here. He's going to set up for it. See what happens. It's waiting slowly for the setup. I think that's the correct way of setting it up. He just hits straight into the air. Uh, hits straight into the blitz and moves the blitzer up. We'll see what happens off the rebound of it. He's got one reroll for it as well. Yeah, he needs a third player on the LOS. He can just about do it. Yeah. Let's see what happens with it. It basically comes down to the kick here. See what he does with the kick. He gets the reroll. Not that he needs it. The kick looks okay with a throw. So it's not too bad. See what Jimmy gets off the back of the pickup. Fails the pickup, has to use the reroll. Instant failure. Not making it good for Jimmy here. Got to get a succession of perfect rolls. Gets the pass. Gets the pickup. We're going to pick up the catch. He's still in position to do the one turn. Gets a dodge in the head. So, pow, I think that should be fine with move nine. And thing is, is it fine with move nine? Can he do it without sprint? No, no, he can't. <clears throat> So I'm assuming he could have sidestepped into into range. I think he can still go for it. He can go for it with the second hit off that uh off that storm vibe in there. Nah, it doesn't look like he can. I think he's just gonna gonna call it there. Unfortunately it's a loss there it seems. Which is a bit of a shame. Goes in for the turn sixteen spike foul as well. Did you get anything off the spike foul? <laughs> no, just sent off. <laughs> oh, well, that sums up. That sums up my blood ball in one fucking game, doesn't it? Thanks for coming on, Fault Force. It made it a lot more bearable for me, so it's very nice of you. No worries. Have you seen your, uh, your star player, Jimmy? I don't know what you mean. Oh, MVP. <laughs> yeah, MVP, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get it on the uh, you get it on the dead shitter. <laughs> Would have got leveled up. We're dead. Oh, there you go. Absolute joke of a match, but there you go. Shocking. Very bad luck. Thank you, Travel Scrabble. Yeah, that was that was a real joke of a game, to be honest. But there you go. Never mind. Completely dominant regular season, and then uh, fucked in the playoffs. Classic. Classic, Jim. But I did tilt a bit, to be honest, there, later on. Um, which is understandable, isn't it? And it's... I think you played it well. You played it well. There, there wasn't much you can do. You got some god dice and some god scatters off the back of that. There, there really wasn't much you could do. What Ooh. you did do was uh, the correct play, it seemed. Well, no, I shouldn't have used the uh, penultimate re-roll, you know, when I, when I did the 5 plus dive. I shouldn't have bothered with that. I should have just waited for... Uh, you know, for the one turn then, but I was like, fuck it, and just pissed off. And I think the five plus dive was all right. No, it wasn't. I, th I think you, you, you didn't have much else that you could do at that point. That was the yeah, issue. Yeah, but I should have planned for for overtime. You know, I should have just planned I'm going to score the one turn and play, play in yeah. overtime and save the reroll for overtime. Oh, that makes sense completely. Yeah, that's what I should have done, but it doesn't matter. There wasn't much I could have done better. I mean, apart from that, I mean, you, you, the options that you did have, you were basically, you, you were picking from, uh, picking from bad options. So no matter what you picked, it was always going to be a bad option. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it was, 
It was it was a bit of a joke, but never mind. It does mean that I can uh, I can get a better free agent than a fucking pommer without tackle, so that's good. Still oh, got still got plenty of money, so um, yeah, next season I can I can get a free agent blitzer and and hopefully get a plus strength one or at least tackle mighty blow or something, something better than a pom that doesn't have tackle, which is like the worst thing you can exactly. have. I don't know what, I shouldn't have got it really, but there you go. So yeah, well, you know, <laughs> well rolled squad. I thought he played pretty shockingly badly, to be honest. I was very disappointed how badly he played. Yeah. <laughs> that made it even harder to take, that I was getting fucked by the dice. It's a bit of a shame that you lost two, two uh, good players right at the beginning. You got an injury and a death. Yeah, yeah. It was just, it was horrible. It was really horrible. I would have, I would have felt much better if he'd played, if he'd played better. But there you yeah. go. Anyway, right. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Fault Force, and no uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.